Well, we've been building robots a long time, and so we've figured a lot out about how to, A, build a reliable machine that you could mass produce. And that's what we've introduced at CES this week. So what's next? Our vision is a humanoid that is general purpose, that can go anywhere, understand its surroundings, and manipulate any object. We're starting in industrial environments first. So for the first time ever in public, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Atlas to the stage. So as you can see, Atlas really does stand up the way that we show in our videos online. And we get tons of questions about this. Boston Dynamics has just put their latest version of the humanoid robot Atlas on stage for the very first time, and the world has been buzzing about its performance and the technology inside this robot. Many people believe it even outperforms Tesla's Optimus robot. Okay, let's put the comparisons aside for now because every company has its own direction and vision. Over the next 18 minutes, we'll take a closer look at the highlights of the Atlas robot from the recent CES 2026 event and break down what Boston Dynamics and Hyundai have invested in this humanoid robot. We've also designed Atlas's head and face very purposefully. We want folks working with Atlas to know that Atlas is a helpful robot, not a person. Seeing Atlas live in action for the first time is wildly exciting. But seeing it perform real industrial work is even more compelling. So as you can see, Atlas here has joints that can move 360 degrees. This lets Atlas move even more efficiently than humans, particularly in manufacturing environments where every second counts. The new all-electric generation of Atlas is a complete transformation. It ditches the bulky look and moves toward a clean, minimalist design focused on maximum flexibility. The robot stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighs 198 pounds, and Boston Dynamics uses aluminum and titanium alloys for this new version. The biggest breakthrough is its fully unrestricted 360-degree rotating joints, allowing Atlas to perform movements the human body simply can't. Instead of copying rigid biological structures, Boston Dynamics prioritizes mechanical performance. A slimmer body, fully concealed cabling, and a friendly circular display for a face. This is no longer just a human-like robot. It's a machine optimized to operate in complex environments, with stability and a range of motion that goes far beyond natural human limits. Atlas doesn't have to move like a person does, and we're looking for the most stable, efficient way to get up, and it turns out this is it. This is Atlas's first time in public, and as you can see, its walk is pretty natural and pretty smooth. We've partnered with our sister organization, the Robotics and AI Institute, to push the limits on natural walking just for this performance, and I think we've done something really special. Instead of mechanically trying to fully replicate human joints and muscles, the engineers focused on finding the most stable and efficient way to move. As the company has pointed out, Atlas doesn't need to move exactly like a human. Its ability to stand up and maneuver is driven by optimized calculations of gravity and mechanics. Rather than the stiff, jerky motions we usually associate with machines, Atlas moves with smoothness and flexibility, showing that its dynamic balance has reached a whole new level. The version of Atlas that you're seeing here is just a research prototype that we've been using for a couple years to understand the system. But we've been hard at work on making the actual product version of Atlas. I can confidently say that this product version of Atlas is the best and actually simplest robot that we have ever built. The version of Atlas we've been seeing for years is actually just a research prototype, more accurately, a test platform that engineers have used to deeply understand complex systems over time. Now, Boston Dynamics is shifting its focus and resources toward finalizing a true product version. This is their best robot yet, but also the simplest one they've ever built. They brought this version on stage, but Boston Dynamics made it clear that it was only a static display. Since they couldn't take the actual production robot out of the lab, they could only showcase a display unit at the event, while footage of the fully operational new version is expected to be released soon. This product generation of Atlas surpasses any other enterprise-grade humanoid. This robot has 56 degrees of freedom, mostly with fully rotational joints, and it has human-scale hands with tactile sensing in the fingers and palms for dexterous manipulation. 
the new generation of Atlas marks a major engineering leap, featuring up to 56 degrees of freedom, an impressive figure that's double that of its hydraulic predecessor. This massive upgrade gives the robot an unprecedented level of flexibility, allowing it to easily break through movement limitations that previous versions simply couldn't reach. It can lift up to 110 pounds and reach up to 7.5 feet in the air. Atlas is also water resistant. In real industrial environments, robots need to undergo washdowns, and it can operate at its full capabilities, including strength between minus four and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Atlas can perform these tasks at a reliable, consistent pace for about four hours using its dual swappable batteries. And when they run low, Atlas navigates back to its charging station and swaps its own batteries, getting right back to work. The new Atlas robot can reach a height of up to 7.5 feet, making it easy to handle and transport items or components stored in elevated locations. According to Boston Dynamics, Atlas can operate continuously for around four hours. The most notable breakthrough is its smart dual battery system, which allows the robot to automatically return to a charging station, swap batteries, and immediately resume work. This ensures production lines remain stable and uninterrupted during operation. With a peak lifting capacity of up to 110 pounds, Atlas can handle heavy mechanical components that were previously reserved for fixed industrial machines. However, the most impressive figure is its sustained working payload of 66 pounds, enabling the robot to operate for hours without overheating or experiencing performance degradation. Finally, Atlas robots share intelligence. Through our Orbit platform, once one Atlas learns a skill, it can be shared with any other Atlas. Boston Dynamics has stated that once Atlas learns a new task, that capability can be instantly shared across the entire robot fleet. This immediately brings Tesla to mind, as Optimus follows a similar approach. According to Boston Dynamics' official product page, Atlas can be operated in three different modes. Autonomous mode, teleoperated, or by using a tablet steering interface. Among these, autonomous mode represents the highest level of integration between advanced hardware and artificial intelligence. You know, Atlas is powered by a modern AI system running on NVIDIA chips allowing the robot to learn and adapt to new tasks. In this mode, Atlas operates using machine learning models combined with data collected from its computer vision sensor system. Yeah, instead of requiring step-by-step -step human instructions, Atlas can perceive its surroundings on its own, build real-time 3D maps, and proactively make decisions to complete predefined tasks, such as transporting components inside a factory from point A to point B. Okay, this autonomous capability is supported by reinforcement learning algorithms, enabling the robot to maintain balance and dynamically handle unexpected situations like obstacles or slippery surfaces without direct human intervention. In addition, Atlas can operate in teleoperation mode, a method that's especially important for training and for tasks that require high precision or fine motor skills. Engineers can use motion capture suits or virtual reality equipment to step into the robot. Every human movement is translated by software into corresponding control commands for Atlas. This is also how Boston Dynamics collects behavioral data. Humans perform the actions, the robot records them, and that data is then used to optimize and train the AI system. Beyond that, Boston Dynamics says Atlas can seamlessly integrate with manufacturing and warehouse management systems such as MES and WMS through its in-house orbit software. This is considered the most practical and user-friendly operating method in industrial environments. Instead of relying on complex control equipment, operators simply tap and drag on a touchscreen to set destinations or select pre-programmed action scenarios. The interface provides an overview of battery status, operational maps, and live video feeds from the robot's vision system, making it as easy to monitor and manage an entire fleet of Atlas robots as using a smart device at home. The flexible combination of these three operating modes creates a complete ecosystem, allowing Atlas to function with a high level of autonomy while still enabling effective human oversight and coordination in complex industrial environments. Boston Dynamics has been publicly showcasing its humanoid robots since at least 2011, when Atlas was first introduced as part of a DARPA-funded project. Since then, Atlas has gone through multiple generations of prototypes and major upgrades, with the most significant 
be in the strategic shift from hydraulic systems to a fully electric design in 2024. By the end of that year, Boston Dynamics demonstrated Atlas manipulating automotive parts, a clear signal that this robot could soon see real-world applications inside manufacturing environments. Hyundai plans to deploy Atlas robots in its automotive factories starting in 2028, initially focusing on tasks like part sorting and sequencing. The company has also revealed plans to produce up to 30,000 Atlas robots per year by 2028. By 2030, the automaker expects to expand Atlas's role into assembly operations. In the long run, according to Hyundai, the robot will take on repetitive motion tasks, heavy load handling, and other complex industrial jobs. At the same time, Google DeepMind is bringing Atlas robots into its research pipeline to integrate Gemini Robotics Foundation AI models into Boston Dynamics systems, opening the door to major advances in humanoid robot perception and autonomy. Atlas was awarded Best Robot at CES 2026. This recognition marks a major milestone for electric humanoid robots, as Atlas transitions from a research prototype to commercial production, positioning the Hyundai Motor Group at the forefront of industrial robotics. In the era of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, Boston Dynamics Atlas is no longer just a research showcase. It has truly become a symbol of the convergence between precision engineering and cutting-edge artificial intelligence. To understand what makes Atlas so powerful, we first need to look at its dramatic transformation from a bulky hydraulic system to a fully electric design. This shift isn't simply about replacing hoses and hydraulic fluid with electric motors. It represents a complete redefinition of humanoid robot mobility. The new Atlas features highly flexible joints that go far beyond human biological limits, with near 360-degree rotation in most key areas, including the hips, neck, and spine. This allows Atlas to access objects from angles a human worker could never reach, while also optimizing movement efficiency in tight, crowded factory environments. Atlas's biggest breakthrough lies in the combination of exceptional hardware and an AI brain powered by today's most advanced machine learning models. The robot no longer operates purely on pre-programmed scripts. It can perceive its environment in real time, automatically adjust its center of gravity on uneven terrain, and handle unexpected situations like moving obstacles or changes in lighting. For businesses, integrating Atlas into operations delivers strategic, long-term benefits that go far beyond simple labor cost reduction. The most immediate and obvious advantage is its ability to maintain 24-7 performance without fatigue or human psychological error. In high-pressure production environments such as automotive assembly or logistics, even a small mistake can bring an entire line to a halt. Atlas, with millimeter-level precision and perfect repeatability, effectively eliminates that risk. Moreover, companies can deploy Atlas in dirty, dangerous, and dull environments, the so-called 3D jobs, where human health is threatened by chemicals, extreme temperatures, or the risk of spinal injuries from heavy lifting. Instead of redesigning entire factories to accommodate fixed robotic arms or AGVS that require dedicated lanes and space, companies can leverage their existing infrastructure. Atlas is built to climb stairs, step over thresholds, and use the same hand tools designed for humans. This adaptability significantly reduces upfront capital expenditure. And with cloud-based data management systems, all of Atlas's operational data is fully digitized, allowing managers to track real-world performance metrics like OEE and accurately predict maintenance needs, ultimately optimizing the global supply chain in a unified way. However, Atlas's impact doesn't stop with the companies that deploy it. It's also sending shockwaves through Tesla and Elon Musk's Optimus robot project. For years, Tesla has confidently claimed a leadership position thanks to its massive data ecosystem from self-driving vehicles and its ability to scale manufacturing at an industrial level. But the arrival of Atlas as a commercial product directly challenges Optimus's status as the so-called game changer. From a technical standpoint, Optimus is still working toward more dexterous manipulation and has yet to demonstrate serious heavy lifting capabilities. Atlas, on the other hand, can already carry heavy loads with remarkable stability, the result of more than a decade of mechanical refinement. That said, Optimus does outperform Atlas in certain areas. While Atlas can perform acrobatic movements, Tesla has gone deeper into hand sensitivity. The Optimus Gen 2 hand is equipped with tactile sensors on every fingertip, allowing it to perform delicate tasks like holding an egg without breaking it or assembling small electronic components. 
This level of dexterity is critical for robots intended to work in home environments or on assembly lines that demand fine, precise manipulation. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that once Tesla reaches a production scale of around 1 million Optimus robots per year, the final price could drop to roughly $20,000 to $30,000, less than half the cost of a new car. Musk's strategy is straightforward, but highly ambitious. Massive scale to drive costs down as far as possible. Tesla isn't just building robots. It's constructing a large-scale manufacturing ecosystem, similar to what it did with electric vehicles. Owning its factories and in-house capabilities, from AI chips and batteries to mechanical joints, allows Tesla to tightly control costs across the entire value chain. The long-term goal is to turn Optimus into a widely available household product, affordable enough for mass adoption, essentially a personal assistant priced like a used car. That said, the path to reaching this price point is still full of challenges. In the early stages, Optimus is expected to cost somewhere between $80,000 and $120,000, though even at that level, it would likely still be cheaper than Atlas. The rise of humanoid robots like Atlas and Optimus is putting the global economy in front of a complex, dual reality. Robots are both job replacers and job creators. This is no longer a future prediction. It's a reality already unfolding inside modern factories and warehouses. On the other hand, robots are also becoming a powerful engine for entirely new types of jobs, roles we couldn't have imagined just a decade ago. Running a fleet of Atlas or Optimus robots requires a massive workforce dedicated to mechanical maintenance, system programming, operational data analysis, and on-site safety supervision. Beyond that, as productivity surges thanks to automation, the cost of producing goods drops. Lower costs stimulate consumer demand and expand service-based industries such as tourism, education, and healthcare. Fields where human interaction, empathy, and creativity remain core values that machines still can't replicate. Robots don't eliminate work. They transform its nature. They push humans away from purely physical labor and toward higher-level roles that involve critical thinking, machine supervision, and strategic decision-making. The reality is that this revolution is creating a deep divide. Repetitive jobs will disappear, while skills related to mastering technology and human-machine collaboration will become the new gold in the job market. The biggest challenge isn't whether robots will take all our jobs, it's how to close the gap between the pace of technological advancement and the pace of human learning. In the near future, the people who know how to use robots as tools to amplify their own productivity will be the ones who lead, turning the threat of automation into a career advantage. Robots may take away old jobs, but they're also laying the foundation for a more prosperous economic system, one where humans are freed from exhausting labor and can focus on more human-centered, creative, and meaningful work. Humanoid robots are no longer science fiction, they're stepping into our factories, warehouses, and soon, our daily lives. Atlas and Optimus represent two very different visions of that future. But one thing is clear. The age of human-robot collaboration has officially begun. The real question isn't whether robots will change the world, it's how we choose to adapt alongside them. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more deep dives into emerging technology, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.